Hey guys, my name is Courtney Rowe and welcome to My Bearcat Life. So as you know, there is a lot happening in our world right now. And I definitely wasn't prepared to be making this video so soon, but here we are. Because of this whole coronavirus thing, all of the students at Northwest are being forced to stay at home and we are switching to online schooling for the rest of the semester. Yay! That means I have to move out of my dorm. Now, my dorm was the only sense of independence and privacy I had away from home. Now I have to pack it all up and go back home. My parents have turned my bedroom into a storage closet for all of their stuff. So, this will be fun. I'm so ecstatic if you can tell. As you can tell, I'm very sad, okay? I don't wanna be doing this right now, but I have no choice. I wore my cats playing an accordion socks to cheer me up. That is where I'm at mentally right now. This also means that we will no longer have my beautiful wall behind me. Let's go. Let's pack. Goodbye, little ghosty. Goodbye, little stepper's gnome. Now, I was not thinking ahead. I forgot that I have a ton of frozen food that I'm gonna have to carry home. Didn't bring a cooler or anything to put said items in, so this will be fun. I really thought I could pick this up with one hand. Wait, wait. Ah. Oh, remember like two weeks ago when I did a video of putting this stuff away? Now, to take it home anyway, it's fine. I love that all I have in here is beverages and fruit cups. Why do I have so many fruit cups? Oh, and a Sargento. Guys, I highly recommend these things. They should not be allowed to be that good, but this is what I've been snacking on for the entirety of my quarantine. Now, this is probably the most sad thing I've had to look at this entire week. I'm gonna cry. Now, time for the fun part. Packing up all of the clothes in these two dressers. Yes, drawers. Whatever, there's a lot we're working with here. Let's freaking go. A lot of these are sweatshirts that have been sitting here since move-in day in August, and I think I've worn them once. So, it's gonna be fun. It's gonna be a fun time. It's gonna, it's gonna, this is great, this is great. Managed to get all of my sweatshirts in here. Feeling accomplished. It just occurred to me that because we're in quarantine, that I won't be able to wear any of my outfits out in public, at least for the time being, which is really sad because I like clothes a lot, if you can't tell. It just keeps getting sadder and sadder. Fine. I'm fine. <laughs> I'm like the world's worst packer. I literally have no idea how to do this efficiently. Thanks, Dad. Time to put away the graphic shirts because we still have a lot of room, so. Guys, I'm about to expose myself, but look, these are all graphic tees, yeah, okay. Pants and shorts. Out there is the box with all of the sweaters, and we still haven't even gotten to my closet yet. I'm fully aware that I have an addiction to clothing, 
But please tell me that I am not the only one with this many clothes. Please? I'm sure I am, but if you like clothes too, you understand. You can't just have like three shirts. No, you need one of each color and like five different styles in that color so that you can mix and match your outfits. But the ads is a little excessive and I will admit that. And just like the sweatshirts, some of these shirts I haven't touched since August and I've worn them maybe once, but it's like you never know what you're gonna need and when. And it's always right when I take something home because I'm like, okay, I don't need it anymore. I haven't worn this. Courtney, be real with yourself. Literally the next day, I like need it. I need it for something. And I'm like, of course, I need it now. But I don't have it. It always happens. Tell me I'm not the only one, please. This is so sad. My South Complex shirt. When you live in the dorms, each dorm has their like corresponding t-shirts. And if you wear them every Monday, you get points for your dorm. South Complex and North Complex, which is the dormitory right next to mine, we were in the lead and we were gonna win. I think it was like, you know, like a pizza party or something. I don't know, we were gonna win and we, we had won. We were the winners. You know what? It was all for nothing. Good day. <sighs> Memories. Tell me why I have a bottle of Gorilla Glue in here. Where did this come from? Why is it in my suitcase? I don't know, so many questions. This is me, we're talking about those, so I'm really not that surprised. So this is what we've got so far in regards to stuff. So what we're gonna go do, ooh, ooh, ooh. So what we're gonna go do now is go get a big yellow crate to put all that stuff in and at least get that stuff condensed and possibly put down in the van so that I'm not getting anxiety from looking at all of it. It's all becoming very real, so that's really sad. Oh no, they're nowhere to be found. This is not good. Well, while we pass time for a yellow crate, let's tackle my closet. Sacred prayer. <laughs> naked it is over there okay back to me now it's the saddest part of all taking down my wall stuff back to its normal spot but look look how sad it looks ah. what this is not even the same room I'm sad 
We're still a little unclear what the future holds for My Bearcat Life, but don't worry. I still have lots of content loaded for you guys. I hope we can all get through this together. God. Just showing love to each other, sharing our creativity, and just trying to stay positive through this tough time. For the last time from room 295 in South Complex, I will see you guys later. Bye, South Complex. I'm gonna miss you. Ooh.